Hey y'all, it's Marcia from Pretty Girls with Curls. Welcome back to my channel. So today is wash day and it's time to bring my curls back to life because my hair is looking a hot mess today and it's dry. We're gonna jump right into this. I'm using Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. This is one of my all time favorites. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work that through all of my hair. This mask always leaves my hair very moisturized. So again, I've been using this one for years. I like to switch up my products from time to time, but this one right here is one I can always fall back on. And I totally skipped this step because I've been kind of lazy with my hair lately, but you can section your hair first. It's actually, I would actually recommend you do that first, but um, I just skipped that step. I've just been lazy with my hair, but next time I will go ahead and take the time to section my hair off and then apply the product. I like to do the prayer hand method and just put the product in my hair, do the prayer hands together, rub it down, bring it down my hair strands, and then I use my fingers to detangle it. You can also use a wide tooth comb if you like. Now I'm using Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I haven't used this product in so long, but something told me to try it again because I used to love it. So y'all, the results did not disappoint. So I'm so glad that I used this product. It left my hair moisturized for days. And instead of doing my finger coils, which if you follow me, you know I love to do, I decided to use my dimming brush to activate my curls. When I use my dimming brush, I want to make sure my hair is soaking wet. And then I go ahead and apply the product and detangle that section that I'm working on. After I detangle, I'm going to take that dimming brush, bring it through my hair. And once I get to the ends of my hair, I'm going to curve the brush at the ends and that's what's going to activate the curl and as i was going through this process i actually came up with a different method for like my longer sections so i'm going to show you that in just a bit but look at these curls though they're like so popping i actually kind of wish at the end that i didn't fluff up my hair as much so next time i may not fluff it as much just so that i can keep more of these popping curls because I ended up picking most of them out <laughs> once my hair dried, but you'll see at the end. Okay, so now I'm going through those longer sections, and again, I'm gonna go ahead and detangle, and then apply the product. So for my longer sections, instead of bringing the dimming brush at the ends and just letting it go, I use my fingers to, like I put the hair between two fingers, and that's what's gonna help activate the curls, and what this is doing is not giving so much shrinkage at the longer sections because the dimming brush can give your hair tons of shrinkage. So for my longer sections, I want my hair to be a little bit elongated and I just went ahead and just put the hair between two fingers after using the dimming brush to detangle. I use two fingers to glide down my hair and so the dimming brush is helping to activate the curl and then the, my fingers are helping to kind of give it more elongation so that it's not so much shrinkage at the ends. Also, the dimming brush can clip your curls together. So right here, I'm just kind of separating some of those curls that are clumped together. And after I finished doing these curls and coils, I went ahead and let it air dry for like an hour. Then I came back and used my diffuser to completely dry it. And honestly, y'all, my hair is like 80% dry. I 
did not have time to completely let it dry but make sure your hair is like completely dry like 100% dry before picking it out which is what I'm going to do now I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out my hair and I'm kind of separating to see some of those coils are still kind of clumping together but it's all good so now let's go ahead and pick this out and make it big and fluffy and I actually like this style after looking at this video I was like I should have just left it like this <laughs> But um, I went ahead and made it a little bit bigger. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. This one a little bit more tamed or a little bit big and fluffy. So let me know in the comments which one you would rock and which one you prefer. Do you like big hair or do you like your hair to be a little bit more tamed? Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.